Hi, this is Bert with Amphibian Motors. I noticed there's some false information about my amphibious car out there on the internet. Go figure. First big myth is it took a huge investment. That's totally false. This fast amphibious car did not require a huge investment. It was relatively inexpensive. It was built using junkyard parts and all new aluminum. Total cost of material used on the car you see in the video was under $8,000. No labor cost was considered. It started as a hobby project. The car in the video is probably the world's fastest, most inexpensively built amphibious car ever. Second big myth is that it uses an outboard engine. There is no outboard engine. Just watch the videos. The tires do completely retract, but the same engine that spins the wheels also turns the Berkeley 12JCA water jet pump. Third myth. Pretty much anyone with enough dedication can build their own amphibious vehicle. Well, think about that. If that were true, where are all the amphibious cars? I searched through thousands of flood pictures and videos and could not find any in use in the recent floods in the United States. The design process for my amphibious car took a very long time, and it did require a lot of creativity. I have an engineering degree and many hours working on both cars and boats and in a machine shop. In addition, I worked in my dad's gas station garage auto service company. I have a fabrication background in a complete small machine metal shop and Bridgeport Mill and big metal lathe. Oh yes, and um, did I also mention I have an engineering degree? I don't think that just anyone can design and build a fast amphibious car like this. The design is the hard part and that's what takes all the time and the creativity. Please don't get discouraged. Fortunately, if you want a fast amphibious car similar to the one you see in the video, but much prettier and a little better, that may be possible in the future. I've done the hard work and I'm looking at coming out with some plans and kit car parts in the future. If you're a good fabricator, mechanic, a kit car type guy and have a few of those connections, you can probably build one of those kits. Let me explain a little more about the design and the design process. It took a long time to design and build because it uses a lot of readily available truck parts. The design was pretty tough. The dimensions are not available for most of the parts that were used. Many design options and parts were explored. Lots of parts were tried, tossed. The car was assembled, disassembled, modified, reassembled too many times to count. The result is a design that is extremely cost friendly, fabrication friendly, and mechanic service friendly. This amphibious car design can be replicated by any competent aluminum fabricator and maintained serviced by just about any good backyard mechanic. This design was made for a third world country type environment with limited resources. The engine drivetrain uses a turbo 350 automatic transmission and a modified two-speed MP205 4x4 transfer case. The wheels and the marine jet pump can be engaged together at the same time or independently. So in real shallow water, both the tires and the marine jet pump can be run together. The tires can also be fully retracted for high speed deep water running. In addition, this car uses the same Chevy 4x4 spindles on the front and rear. So yes, there's also an option to make the car four wheel drive and four wheel steer. Think about that and it's still a very high-speed, water-capable amphibious vehicle. Note, to get the boat registrations on the car in the video, the original receipts have to be given to the U.S. government agents. The government wants to make sure they got their tax money, but the guys reviewing the paperwork really weren't too interested in the money. They were really more curious about the design and how inexpensive it was. They were shocked and went over and over the cost issues because they had a hard time believing the cost was really less than $8,000. About half the cost was for the new aluminum, the rest of the cost was for an old junk Chevy 4x4 truck and a bunch of used parts. Again, this is probably the world's fastest, most inexpensively built amphibious car ever. It was inspired by watching too many episodes of Junkyard Wars. This is more than just a cool recreational toy. The police and other government agencies and utility service companies also need amphibious flood response vehicles that they can use on a regular basis that will be ready when a flood does occur. I'm still working on a few design improvements and uh, yes some cosmetic improvements 
fenders, hoods, lights, etc. The goal is to provide kit car type plans as well as fabrication help kits in the future for this cost friendly, fabrication friendly, and maintenance friendly amphibious vehicle design. Please go to the descriptions and comments section below for more information. Please give me a like, subscribe, and follow my future videos. Thank you.